What's up everyone, this is Cybernet, and today I did something I've wanted to do for quite a while. Uh, I'm kind of copying my friend Jobber on this because today I actually bought a collection. Yeah, a full Yu-Gi-Oh collection. Um, I don't know if I'm going to say how much I spent. If I do, it'll be in the title or something. Uh, I'm still debating on how much info I want to give out, but basically it was someone who wanted to get out of Yu-Gi-Oh and uh, I believe they were also a viewer and stuff too. And I went on ahead and uh, decided to just buy their collection because yeah, I like to buy and sell cards a lot. I don't really do it as much as Jobber does, but I kind of do it under the radar because I don't really advertise my store. Like I sell mainly on TCG Player, uh, which by the way, use my link on TCG Player. It helps me out. <laughs> anyway, um, I do sell on there and I don't go by my actual username, but if you buy from me or you see that username, you'll probably have a good guess on who it is. Maybe one of these days I'll say, but I'm always afraid if something goes wrong, like if the mail actually loses a card, then I'm a scammer. So I never know if I should advertise it. You know what I mean? Just for those reasons. We we see how that can go with a lot of uh, YouTubers out there. And even if you're doing everything 100% right, the mail system sucks. And if they lose a card, then again, I'm an awful person. <laughs> so yeah, that's why I kind of keep those separate. Anyway, though, since I bought this collection, I thought it'd be fun to go on ahead and just go through it with you guys. So it'll be a longer video, but uh, I hope you will enjoy. And if you do, let me know by hitting that like button and subscribing, and I will open up more of these in the future. Let's see, that one starts off with traps. I know they're almost like organized by what type? Trap cards. What we got on this one? Here we go. I'll say, I'm going to go with the effect monster one first, and we'll just go in order like that. So, yeah, a few of the gimmick puppet. Pretty cool looking, though. Even a secret blowback dragon. I think that's nice. That was from, like, the Master Collection 2. A lot of, like, promos and stuff. Magnet Warriors. I'm not going to go over all the prices on here. I'm probably, in most cases, I go by the prices, like, on TCG Player. I feel like that's the most up-to-date in most cases. And... I don't even know if I'm going to sell through my YouTube channel. We'll we'll see what happens. Maybe at some point I'll advertise my TCG Player account. And plus, I just like TCG Player more than eBay, because I always had trouble with eBay. Oh, the Silent Swordsmen look nice. Secret Rare. Return Zombie. Again, we're seeing just a lot of really cool Secret Rares. Tempest. Windrose, even. I wish that one was a little bit better. Jackalope, pretty good. And even Emmer's Blade. That Emmer's Blade is actually from Absolute Power Force. Look at that. Very nice. I hope my camera's doing this justice, by the way. It's kind of hard not to have a glare. Let's see, Obnoxious Celtic Guardian. It's been a while since I've seen that. Or just Guard, I guess, technically. Ice Hands. Blockman. Even some of the Cosmos. Still feel like they're going to get new support soon. Uh, Victory Dragon. That's an older jump promo. Even that Galaxy Soldier looks nice. That's the uh, Seeker one. Prismatic. From, yeah, World Superstars. Couldn't think of the set for a second. Oh, oh yeah, Hidden Arsenal. For a second, I thought that uh, Miss Valley was actually a dual terminal. I'll say, whoa. <laughs> Oh, hey, uh, that High Priestess Prophecy, that's actually from the main set, what was it, um, crap, uh, Return of the Duelist, that's the name, okay, <laughs> I must say, I can't think of the name. Barrel Dragon, oh, I didn't show him this side, duh. Yeah, I'd love to do more of this if you guys enjoy it. Oh, there you go, Lady of the Lake, first edition too, nice. Another Galaxy Soldier, those are always good. Sylvans. Burning Abyss. Light Pulsars. Those are nice. I think it actually looks good as a gold. Celestia. A lot of glow up bulb as well. I like how they organize their binder. It's probably better organized than my trade binder right now. Ryza. Mine's just a mess, because I don't really trade anymore. I just buy and sell. And of course, with no events going on, you know. Got like Grave Keepers, that's pretty nice. Morphing Jar, even an Effect Veiler. I think it's just one for each one, too. I don't think there's any behind each of these cards. Uh, 
I've only glanced through this too, by the way. Oh, Alien Mother is an ultimate rare. Oh, that's nice. And also that Sergeant Electro or whatever. I love seeing some ultimate rares. That's always good. I just kind of glanced at this. I kind of wanted to be a little bit surprised for the video because I obviously knew a lot of what I was buying. But I don't think you had pictures for like everything. Uriah, is that the... Oh, no, it's Ledger Collection. Dang. I was hoping maybe it was from the original set. Oh, okay. <laughs> you guys see that? Arm Dragon level 5 Ultimate Rare. I wish he was also first dead. He tells a little worn too, but uh, I'm probably going to use that because I'm looking forward to new Arm Dragon support. We're, we're, is it like three weeks away or something? I don't know, but uh, I'm looking forward to that. Guardian Sphinx, that's an older one too. Yeah, I'm definitely going to use those new Arm Dragons. I'm really excited about those. Is that? Oh yeah, that's from the game, I think. That micro coder. I think. Wicked Eraser. Another older promo. I like seeing those promos. Oh, there you go. Red Eyes Darkness. I still have my first edition one. Oh, there you go. Phoenix and Nethi. Oh, that's first edition. Oh, very nice. Look at that. Looks in pretty good shape, too. Melfi Rabby. I like the I like the rabbits and stuff, the Melfi cards. Is that oh that is from Invasion of Chaos. Look at that. That might be really expensive. I hadn't checked. I know the first dead well, of course would be. I have not checked on that. I just assumed it was from something else, so I was about to say. No material. That's pretty cool seeing an older card like that. Again, I wish it was first dead, but yeah. <laughs> I'll take an unlimited. I don't care that much. Oh, there's a Daedalus first dead. I remember getting so many of that card back then when I was trying to get Black Luster Soldier. Of course, back then when I could only get like two packs when I went to the store. <laughs> Guardian Seal. That's an older card I hadn't seen in a while. Oh, there's even an anniversary card. Celtic Guardian as well. Another anniversary. Unfortunately not. Blue Eyes or Red Eyes. I think those are the expensive ones. But all the artworks are really nice, so. God, it's just nice to look through all these. <laughs> I'm just geeking out, to be honest. Okay. Almost through with the first binder. Like I said, these binders are all filled, too. I think there's maybe, like, one empty page in one of them. So pause if you need to. I think, yeah, this is the last one. There we go. Okay. I like to know they're in Match of the Gathering binders. <laughs> uh, we'll go with... I think this is, like, the promo. We'll go with this one next, sure. So this one has a lot of McDonald's promos, as you can tell. I think that Burstentrix is kind of tough to find. Yeah. I remember, oh, when that went, went up in price. Practical, or however you say its name. Because Instant Fusion. Well, these are commons and stuff. But again, uh, McDonald's promos, I mean, that's cool. I wish they would do that again. That's just an empty pack, too. I, I was wondering, because I was like, I'll open up the pack on camera. I don't care. <laughs> oh, here you go. Premature Burial First Edition. That's pretty cool, especially with GOAT format. I think you can use that GOAT format. I will probably use that. Same with that Forceful Sentry. That's pretty cool to see. And even uh, Mirage of Nightmare. I don't know if you can use that in GOAT format, though. I have to check. Tribute to the Doomed, even, and Necro Valley. Those are first dead, guys. Look at that. I'm hoping it shows up well. And there's... That's just a sleeve, isn't it? Yeah, that's just sleeves. Okay. Then we have some... Spell cards here. A lot of older stuff, basically. From, like, starter decks and things. Dark Hole's pretty neat. I was hoping... That's Legend of Blue. I was hoping it was first dead one. Still cool, though. Change of Heart. Now that would be cool as a first dead. I want to get one of those first dead. I'd love to get, like, a graded one. That's just one of those older cards that's always been cool. 
<laughs> my army of penguin soldiers. I need to come up with a better way of doing this, by the way, because this gives me a good workout with my arms. <laughs> Holding up these binders. Oh, God. <laughs> I hate that card. It's so ugly. <laughs> He's nightmares. Red eyes retro. God, these are cool. And I know not everything. I mean, there's plenty of cards that aren't that expensive, you know, or that tough to find or whatever, but I just love seeing those. I'm just being a huge nerd, okay? <laughs> I love it. Oh, Gear Freed. Oh, oh, that's actually the older one, too. Oh, we actually got two. I didn't even notice that. I like seeing those older ones. Banisher of the Light, too. I remember that card back in the day. That's Darkness. Z Metal Tank and X Head Cannon. Those are actually hollows from the original packs. Magician's Force, yeah. I was about to say, I was trying to think of the pack name, but it kind of left me. Miss Valley Baby Rock's actually pretty good. That'll be... I think kind of pricey soon because of uh, of Dragoonities. So, Let's see, we have no men across out. There's a hollow. Yeah, there's like I think this is the one with the empty page, only empty page. Then we even have Horus level six. Now that's pretty cool. I love my level monsters. I want Horus to get a new form soon. I think I might do a video on that. If I complain enough, Konami will hear. Yeah, just a lot of, again, on this page so far, I mean, there's a lot of, like, super rares that aren't worth that much, but I still enjoy looking at them. <laughs> I still like Red Eyes Baby. Harpy Harpist, that's pretty decent. Seems like those can be tough to find. That's uh, Suijin. Oh, that's cool. It's from the original one. And... Ooh, Flare Scarab. That's nice. Oh, that's oh, that's the other set, the promo set. I thought it was the uh, um, Power of the Duelist or whatever it originally came out in. Wind Up Rabbit. I still have a bunch of secret ones of that. For some reason, I had good luck getting it <laughs> back in the day, so. Magnet Warriors. Avram. Pretty cool seeing a lot of these worm monsters too. I mean, that long ago that they were doing fairly well. Twilight Rose Nut. Wonder if that might be better now we're getting the new Black Rose support. Would be interesting. Oh, I always want to flip through the second page. And these are a lot of uh, battle pack, if you haven't noticed. Like, they're hollow, but they're like battle pack, the mosaic, and that kind of stuff. Again, we're about to get into some big-time hollow territory again. <laughs> I mean, I just thought I'd go with these next. Some rares. Some pretty decent rares, though. I mean, even a Book of Moon. Is that, wow, that's actually a first edition Book of Moon. Okay, that's pretty cool. For being the rare version, it is at least first dead. And then all those. Okay. Uh, which one is this one? Is this the other spell one? Yeah, here we go. Okay, I'm going with this one next, then we'll go with the traps. You can see all those gold rares. Again, I think they really like their gold rares, the person that <laughs> bought this from. I don't blame them. They look nice. Charge light brigades. Remember when those were expensive? Shared Red. Red and Lance Andreas. Oh, there's another Book of Moon for us. Even some Dark Burning Attacks. And Burning Magic. Pot of Avarice. Okay. Zodiac Barrage, I still have a ton of those. If Zodiacs ever do come back, I'm ready, <laughs> sort of. Foolish 
Burial. Uh, oh, double spell. Is that? Oh, that's even first dead. Oh, there you go. There's an older card. Only Waking Dragon, those come in handy in like everything. <laughs> Anything that involves big dragons you're using, which is a lot of different decks for me. See. Oh, Galaxy Expeditions. That's pretty good. Galaxy Eyes are getting their new card soon. After Glow Dragons. That might be worth having. Oh, there's Engage. Is that? Oh, yeah. That's the Mega 10 one. See, it's Ultra. Card of Demise. Not bad. Oh, that's actually Millennium Pack. Okay. First Dead, even. A lot of Aqua Actress stuff. I don't know if you guys <laughs> care as much on those. Oh, God. He had a few of them. Rebos and stuff. Roulette spider. Even those left arm offerings can come in handy. Super rejuvenation. Oh yeah, that's... No, that's the Joey's World. Okay. Couldn't remember if that was that or the... One with the dragon maids in it. Ectoplasma. Oh god. I hate that card in the games. <laughs> That is so annoying when Bakura would use that. Nightmare Troubadour. Man, even Summoner's Art's pretty good. What are we at? Okay. Making sure my face cam doesn't turn off on me. Oh, Caliburn, is that... Oh, no, that's actually from uh, Cosmo Blazer. God, it's almost like a little test every time I have to remember some of these names. Smashing Ground. And yeah, it looks like some Battle Pack stuff again. Which sometimes can be good. Oh, there's Zark. <laughs> I remember getting so many of those back in the day. Pendulum Mucho. We're having so many of those, too. <laughs> Looks like we got some pendulums and rituals and stuff here. Oh, here you go. Mascarina. Um, yeah, those are both from the Mega Ten, of course. That's pretty good. Those are... They kind of go from pricey to not so pricey. They go back and forth, so... It's a good uh, Link Monster. That boy's coming handy. Gunnier as well. All these Synchro Monsters are nice to see. Oh, the Black Rose. I've heard some Black Rose stuff has gone up in price, too. Because, again, new support. So, that could be really good. I have no idea. Oh, Ultimate Rare Odin. Not in the best shape, but not first dead, but I'll still take it. It's still cool. I don't care. It's an Ultimate Rare. It's still a beautiful card. <laughs> I like the Nordics. Well, the Mega Phantom Beast. I think that one does okay here and there. It's the Yang Zing one, I think that's expensive. And now with XC monsters. Acid Golem's kind of cool. And yeah, those are all from like starter decks or something. Those blue eyes. All right, now we're moving on to our last binder, which has all the trap cards. Again, a lot of gold at the beginning. Oh, pick it up. <laughs> High five the sky. Oh, there you go. Dark Renewal's pretty nice. Oh, Aqua Chorus. I haven't seen that in a while. That was from uh, the PC games, I think. So, Negate Attack. That was another promo. I don't remember which game. It was one of the games. I look at the card number, but I don't think I would remember anyway. All those mirror forces, exchange of spirits. Even got an ultimate, or a couple ultimate rares. We got hero metal and supercharge. Kind of forgotten cards, but still cool. There's some more mirror forces. These aren't gold, though. And even a DD trap hole. Kind of nice. Yeah, that is ultimate rare. I couldn't tell. It's like Moki Moki. Look at him. 
<laughs> I like the armor guy that one just cause he, I guess he dug the hole. I don't know what's going on. Just seems evil and <laughs> menacing. If you can make Moki Moki scary, there you go. Last turn, there's an old card. But yeah, you're, you're doing something right if Moki Moki is threatening. <laughs> Nolan Void, first dead. Royal Command as well. And some movie cards as well. I have so many of those because I've opened up so many of those movie packs. First sarcophagus. Ryoku Field, or however you pronounce that, it's pretty cool. I used to like that one too. Then, yeah, a lot of like Aqua Actress cards again. <laughs> you can tell they open up a lot of those sets. Drop off. I remember that back in the day. Actually, kind of a good card back then. Not so much now. <laughs> I don't think you'd see anyone use it nowadays, but back then that was kind of interesting. Just, they were trying to draw a card and you just go, nope, get rid of it. <laughs> and back in the day, that wasn't such a bad thing, you know. Nowadays, you're kind of helping your opponent if you're sending cards to the graveyard like that. Oh, there you go. There can only be one. Remember when that was expensive. Oh, let's see. Oh, uh, Spell Shield. That's kind of cool to see. That's another older one. Same with Spell Vanishing. That's actually first edition. It's kind of hard to see there. I think you can see it. Hope my camera is doing justice here. Oh, all the binders are moving. There. <laughs> Trying to keep it from falling. And it looks like some battle pack cards on this. Oh, fusions, okay. See, we have a lot of fusions. Even a guy, the dragon champion, that's pretty cool. Was Yeah, that's Legend of Blue Eyes. Oh, that's actually like the secret rare, but it has a, uh, it looks like ultra rare for the writing. Does that count as a misprint? I don't remember. I haven't seen the actual old printing in a while, so I'm trying to remember if that's something weird. Let me know down in those comments. That is really neat though, because I thought it was Ultra, I was like, no, he's a secret rare in that. But yeah, that's that's gold looking. That doesn't look like a secret rare writing. Huh, I don't know. I'll have to check that out. I hadn't heard about that ever being like a misprint thing or something. Even a Flare Neos is pretty cool. But yeah, huh, that might be really good. I have no idea. And Inferno Way, that's another ultimate rare for us. First edition too. Um, uh, yeah, I think that's fake. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I don't remember Rescue Right ever being gold first off, but yeah, that one's a fake. But it does look cool. I'll take it. I won't sell it though to anyone. Let's see. Oh, we do have more Xyz, okay. Hmm. I thought they were all just kind of organized like that. Oh, number 95, you're still banned. Maybe one day. Totally awesome. The name is fitting. Red eyes flare metal, it's pretty good. Let's see more ultimate rares. Lucky is pretty good there. Oh, even Herald of Perfection. That's pretty nice. And then we're going back to Link Monsters. And some Ritual. Okay, they just kind of put them together, I guess. <laughs> you know, sometimes they do get me confused too. You see blue on both of them. Chaos Max. Ooh, Apollosa. That's pretty nice. That's from the uh, the tins, though. It's not like the secret rare. Ruin Queen of Oblivion. Oh, and uh, Demise. I didn't see that for a second. There you go. Might as well get both. And some gimmick puppets. And just some more gold cards, really, to end off on. Excite on Night. Oh, that's pretty cool. 
Oh, it is from the 10 though, okay. I thought maybe it was from its actual set. Was it Legacy of Darkness or, no, it's something else, I think. Utopic Future, that's pretty good, I think. I think that can be expensive. And, yeah, last page. There you go. Oh, ending with my favorite number monster, <laughs> number 62. So yeah, there you go. That's the uh, the collection. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Again, I've been wanting to buy collections, do videos on it. So let me know if you guys have enjoyed this. I know it's kind of a slower video, but I think you guys enjoyed probably looking at all those cards. I mean, cause we had, I don't know exactly how many. I mean, it's like, what is it, like 144 per binder or something? So quite a few cards to go through and I hope that was enjoyable for you guys. So let me know by hitting that like button and all that too. And yeah, I do plan to, uh, you know, sell these cards too, a lot of the extras and stuff. So uh, again, I'll probably just put on my TCG player. I might tell you what, you know, tell you guys what that is at some point, but um, I don't know. I I'm still debating because again, if something gets lost, then I'm a scammer. So yeah, that's the reason I always keep that kind of stuff separate. Although, I hadn't had any trouble. So <laughs> I, I try to make everything right. But again, it's just, you know, when you're on YouTube too, uh, you then can be called a lot of things if something honestly goes wrong. So that's just the, uh, I guess, kind of the fear of mine. That's the reason I don't really advertise it. So let me know, you know, uh, maybe at one point I'll change my mind on that. But uh, yeah, as always, thank you guys for watching. If you're selling a collection, I guess contact me. Maybe I'll buy some more collections in the future. And of course I will. Catch you guys later. See ya.